Welcome to No Tooth Tony Interviews. The purpose of this channel is to give women a chance to share their voice without any judgment. Please respect all of the guests featured on my show. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day. All right, so today we have Miss Coco, and she is the owner of Beauty by Laini. Um, Miss Coco has her own skin care studio. She is a eccentric person. Uh, I know I can't say the name right, but she is also an actress, and she also has her own line of beauty products, such as some of them that she offers is lip balms, bath scrubs, soaps, and more. Um, so yeah, Miss <clears throat> Coco, I would like to tell you thank you so much for coming on my show. It's an honor to have you here, and can you please introduce yourself? Well, first of all, thank you so much for having me. It was an honor, and it was really kind of you to ask me. Um, I am I go by Coco or Coquito. I do own Beauty by Laini. Um, I do a lot of theater and indie films and things like that. And until that just takes all, all the way off, you know, I do skincare and I do make all of those products that he said. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. My first question for you is, how long have you been an actress? Um. Well, I did it, you know, ever since, like, kindergarten. And I didn't start taking myself seriously until 2015. So I would actually say 2015, because that's when I really started going out there and going on the auditions and trying to get my name out there. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Um, okay, so my next question for you is, what have been your three most favorite memories so far being an actress? My three most favorite memories of being an actress so far. Um, let's see. I would say the first time, it was actually an interview I did for this. It's a big company called Refinery29. And they did a piece on me. It was my first time feeling like, oh, my gosh, I'm with somebody. You know, I had an editorial and took pictures and everything. And I'm like, I haven't made it, you know. Um, another time I was, it was in New York. And we were filming something we were pitching to Netflix called Project <laughs> Omega. And bless you. Thank you. And Thank you. Thank you. Know, no, it's fine. It's. It's weird. It's almost like allergy season, even though it's still winter, because my throat is messed up. That's why I have my seltzer with, um, anyway. So, yeah, so um, I filmed that in Harlem, and it was my first dramatic role, because when people see me, no matter what role I go in for, they just see, like, pretty and valley girl voice. So it's like, you're the girl next door. You're cutesy. You're going to play somebody's girlfriend. And this time, this man saw that I had the chops to really bring it, and it was a dramatic acting role, play like a crazy psychiatrist, and it was wonderful. And I would say, um, the third, my third favorite memory of acting was, um, it was actually 2019, and I got to play three different roles in a play, and that felt really good because I really got to show myself. I'm not just some cutesy you know clueless movie kind of person like no i can act <laughs> yes ma'am yes ma'am <laughs> <laughs> no that's right she can't act for real you know <clears throat> yes ma'am um my next question for you is what advice do you have to the people who are trying to be an act just like you um, my advice to people who are trying to also act would be like do your homework you know what I mean um, don't be the people who is just like oh my god I want to make some money oh I don't want to work a 9 to 5 let me go act like no like read that Shakespeare you know learn your monologues do things like that 
and don't listen to your family or your friends really believe in yourself if it is what you really want to do if it's something that you know you want to do it because you enjoy bringing these characters to life you want to do this because it feeds your soul for me it was an escape you know as a child and i still feel that way so do it for the right reasons and do your homework for sure yes ma'am <clears throat> yes ma'am um my next question for you is what are some things that are what what are some things that happen or go on in the actress community that from the outside looking in don't get noticed such as myself um interviewing you what are some things that you have to go through that i don't see because all i see is the end result the movie on movie day that's all i see i don't see the process of everything that you have to do you know Mm-hmm. Um, I would say uh, I don't want to make it too negative. So I'm going to. Oh, it could be positive or negative. Either one. It whatever makes you more comfortable. It's. I just feel like, um, especially women should know that sometimes with wardrobe and things like that, you can say, no, I'm not getting changed right here because I've had people try and make me change in front of them. Like, if the wardrobe manager is a guy and he's like, yeah, put this on and, and he stands there, you can say no, or let me try it on and then show you how it looks. Or you, you don't have to put yourself in a situation where you are uncomfortable. And that goes with anything. Um, people don't realize that part. I would say on a positive note, a lot of people don't know that you can bond with your um, cast mates which is really fun. Like, that's nice. You know, you, you end up going out for sushi together and things like that. It's not so much like in an office where you're kind of like, hey, Billy Bob, <sighs> you know, you're working and exchanging, <laughs> you know, like you're exchanging energy together and you're there for a common goal. And you'll find the castmates who are genuine and are there for you. You know what I mean? It's a teamwork kind of thing. And I don't think people really realize you spend, you know, eight to 10 hours sometimes together. So you really have to get along and spend time together and see how your energy bounces off because that shows, you know, on camera too. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. My next question for you is how long have you been a person of aesthetics? aesthetics? Oh, yeah. Um, that was. I went to school for that in 2008. I was already doing, like, you know, the freelance makeup thing and beauty and things like that. But 2008 is when I decided to go to school for it against my parents' wishes. They wouldn't, they wouldn't co-sign the loan for me or anything. So I almost didn't even go. Um, actually, the guy I was dating at the time did it for me, and I'm still grateful till this day. And yeah, so 2008 is when I decided to really make a career in it. And I feel like that was the first thing I really did in my life for myself. You know what I mean? And I would do it all over again. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Um, you being a person of a syndic, um, what type of, okay. So what's your skin care studio? <clears throat> What are some types of products or services that you offer? So um, the services I offer, I used to do a lot of waxing, but I cut it out because, like I said, my main location is Minnesota. And for some reason, they don't care about having a bush or I don't know what they do to get rid of it. But I'm like, it costs me money to have the waxing there. So I kind of don't do that. But I do massage, makeup lessons. Uh, facials and vajacials. So, and then the skincare I, I make, um, it's rose petal soap with some lavender in it. And they're really thick, so they're nice. Uh, organic vanilla lip balm, cupcake shaped ba um, bath bombs, and they smell like cupcakes too. They're really big. And my, cher my cherry blossom uh, hydrating body butter. So just like lotion, but thicker. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Now, is that separate from your skin care studio or is your skin care studio and your products that you offer with Beauty by Laini the same? 
Nope, it's separate. You're right. It's okay. separate. Um, I use, uh, I guess, higher end, more well known skincare in the actual studio for the services. And I sell the ones that I make. So um, just because, you know, that's how people are. Even if my things are magnificent, they want, you know, a higher end on their face. Yes, while they're paying the money to get it done. So. But yeah, I, I do it separately. But they they do buy it. So. Absolutely. That that was my next question. The people who who do get your services um at your skincare studio, if they would like, can they purchase your your personal products afterwards? Yes, they can. Um, I do sell them in the studio. And I also sell them. I just opened an Etsy shop. A lot of people are selling things on there. So it's like, let me see in case it's someone who's not in Minnesota or New York might be like, oh, my God, I have to have it. So I just opened it. OK, OK. That's awesome. Have you are you familiar with Depop? No, what's that? <clears throat> it's the new Etsy. Same thing. Same thing. Really? It, it, people are gonna tell you different, but it's the same. People, you said people sell stuff on there, absolutely. And it's Ooh. a, it's a, it's a upcoming community and environment. And if you, the earlier you start, the more views you'll be able to get in the future later on down the line. And you know, for sure, uh, Depop, D E P O P, it's just like Etsy. Okay. And it's very cool. popular right now. Is is very popular. It's, uh, it's like TikTok for yeah. It's like TikTok for the oh my God. selling community. Well, yes, man. And with Depop, it's a lot of small loan businesses um, mm -hmm. that oh, they good. support good. a lot. It's a lot of support on there. Um, <clears throat> the congratulations on opening up your own Etsy. Um, absolutely, though. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Yes, ma'am. My next question for you is, <clears throat> you do massages, too? So that's a whole, not a skin stare suit, that's a whole spa. Like, I mean, it is. I just, you know, I notice when I talk to women and when I say it's a spa, they always say, oh, do you have a girl who does hair too? Not that they were going to book it, but just to be annoying, they ask that. So that I stopped calling it that, but I'm like, it is a spot. Like I do so many things. So that's awesome. I know some spots where you can't get your hair done. Just to let that right? be known. Thank <laughs> you. Nah, uh, that's Thank not. Uh, it's a lot of spots who don't do hair. Just to let that be known. Exactly. There are only there are some spots who only do like. I know. Okay, so I personally know there's one place they only do like feet work and they do massages. Is one or the other. They do not have a lot of other services such as yourself. I don't know. I'm going to say me personally, I feel like you have a spa, but we could call it Skin Care Studio. Well, that's fine as well. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. You're so kind. <laughs> you know, it's like we were talking about earlier. Sometimes people, they get so threatened, you know, that you have so many talents and they kind of beat you down and you don't even realize that you're changing your own verbiage, you know, from what you've heard over the years but you're exactly right it's a one woman show and i'm running that spa hello okay okay <laughs> <laughs> yes ma'am um all right so miss coco or miss coquita yeah. my next question yeah. for you is um what is your ethnicity These days, I guess it's just easier to say black because people get offended if you say anything else. So, okay, <laughs> that's just my answer. Yes, ma'am. I know. I understand. I understand. Oh, um, my. It's so frustrating, but yeah. I understand. <laughs> um. Mm -hmm. My next question for you is: Can you speak any other languages? Um, I do speak Spanish, but. Over the years, I've just grown not to like to because of kind of what I just said. Absolutely. Before this, it's um unnecessary hate for no reason. You know what I mean? It's I'm trying to get back into. 
I understand. I understand. Proud, you know, it's just, you know, like, look at Zoe Saldana, how they do her. They do her so wrong. Or, or yeah. So, yeah. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so um, I'm gonna say this. I'm trying to learn Spanish. I'm also trying to learn sign language. Uh, for sure, I'm trying to learn sign language. I'm also trying to learn Spanish. I just learned the uh days of the week: Domingo, Lunes, Marquez, Mercules, Nueves, Fuertes, Sabado. Yeah, for sure. I learned to do it a song, but I'm still learning. Um, uh. <clears throat> so with that being said, I I man, I look up to you cuz I can't speak Spanish. Well, I wish I could. And what? That's what? only cuz you know my father. Absolutely. Speaks Spanish. I'll put it that way. <clears throat> yes, ma'am. Um with that being said, uh Miss Coco, can you please send a positive message in Spanish to the Latin community? prefer not to next question my I'm next sorry. question for you is what is your zodiac sign oh well don't judge me because people have a problem with cancers july the 6th i'm with cancer they say we're like emotional we're just loving and passionate mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're little darlings. Shout out to the cancers. Little darlings. <laughs> what? <laughs> we're little darlings, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> right. That that's gonna cancel. For <laughs> sure. So, that's it. Alright, so no, I right, I'm just I'm just playing with you. Um I'm a cancer as well. My birthday was is July twenty second. I'm a cancer. No, wait, oh yeah. you're right on the cusp. A uh, day before. Uh, but cancer to the wow. fullest, no Leo at all, no Leo at all. I can't stand them. <laughs> They're so what, so confident. I hate it. I hate it. For I... no reason. For no reason at all. I'm it's like, like, bro, you know you're not perfect. <laughs> yes, I right. am. Yes, I like what? I could never. And then for us, I think because cancers were like, you know. Being that we're, we are, like, sweet. We're a little violent, but whatever. But it's still, like, you know, we're really open about our feelings and, like, hey, I'm sad today. This makes me feel blah, blah, blah. And when you talk to a Leo, it's almost like they want to stab at it. Like, oh, you feeling down today? Oh, you down? You should be down. Guess why you down? I'm like, yo, my cousin's a Leo. Oh. I personally feel people going to hate this interview. <laughs> <laughs> I personally I personally feel like <clears throat> Okay so I feel that we have it the hardest Because we're right After Gemini And then we're right before Leo Like what right. how, did, how did that make the sense The two bullies The two bullies Oh my god My mother's a Gemini And we don't talk Like oh <laughs> god I can't take them <laughs> Like, no. I feel like those are the two strongest, like, signs, like, vibes. Like, why? For no reason. For no reason. Yeah. That's and why I just, July, the best month out of the year, just to let that be known. I hope you all heard that. <laughs> they going to get, I'm about, <laughs> unfollow, unfollow, unfollow. <laughs> sure. That's awesome. My whole my whole audience is going one day is going to be only cancers. <laughs> right? <laughs> but that means they'll like everything. Cancers, like, we give love. You know what I mean? If people are nice, we want to support. So it'll be okay. Ooh, <laughs> last thing I'm going to say to make people mad is, <clears throat> all right, because we are the best Zodiac sign, we just had to get everybody else they shine. So that's why we show all y'all love and support. It's just like because we know y'all can never amount to we be really us. Feel bad for you. Absolutely, a hundred percent. Y'all, we just playing. This some just cancer funniness. This how we joke around yeah. to hide our emotions. Well, yeah, <laughs> everybody makes fun of us, like calling us crybabies and all this kind of stuff. I'm like, but then when we get out the gate. 
you know, then it's like, oh my God, y'all crazy. <laughs> like you've been bullying us for like a whole year and then we smack you. Okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> for real. Absolutely. I know some people like right now. <laughs> <laughs> you know it. You know it. <laughs> Man, that's cool. I'm glad you said cancer. I'm glad you said cancer. <laughs> Shout out July 6th. I have two little brothers. They birthday July 5th. Um, that's awesome. Aww. So, oh my gosh. For sure. No wonder we get along. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, yeah. Um. All right. So, uh, my next question for you is, what's your favorite color? Green. Has green always been your favorite color? Um, I think since like seventh grade, I still remember we had to like stand in a circle and like try and be friends or something. <laughs> and they asked me my favorite color and I was embarrassed. I'm like, green. And I don't know. I, that's the earliest I remember. It just makes me happy, and there's so many different kinds of green. It's just beautiful, you know what I mean? I love it, and it's good for everybody. It looks good on me, too. I love green. Okay. <laughs> um, that's awesome. That's awesome. <clears throat> My next question for you is, what are some of your favorite foods? Um, I love spicy food. So, I mean, I do love Cuban food, of course, and, you know, Puerto Rican, Dominican, but my favorites are Ethiopian and Indian because they are so spicy and everything that I need in life. Everything you need in life. Everything. Yes. Spicy, rich, and comforting. It's so, it just tastes good. It smells good before you even, oh, yeah, Ethiopian and Indian, those are top notch for me. I could eat them every day. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Um, my next question for you is, what would you? Okay, what are some of your favorite restaurants? Um, well, let's see. In New York, it's actually an Italian restaurant and it's called Nyoko and it's in the East Village and they're just so sweet so kind and it's authentic like it's like the real deal you know what I mean like great wine um, fresh noodles like fresh pasta everything is just amazing and I think for Ethiopian restaurants there I love Queen of Sheba it's in Manhattan and I'm trying to think of like a chain restaurant so I can name something that people can go to. Um, I don't know. What's like a normal place? I don't know. Don't judge me, but I like Taco Bell. I like and Taco I like Bell more too. Than Chipotle. You do? I like Taco <laughs> Bell for sure. They got a dollar menu. Everybody makes fun of me. I'm like, I prefer it over Chipotle. Mm -hmm. Like, I love Taco Bell. I love Taco Bell, too. Um, <laughs> for sure. I eat it every day. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Me, too. All right. So, Miss Coco, my next question for you is, if you could visit five countries, where would they be? <gasps> Excuse me. I don't know. This is going to be such, like, a raggedy answer. I'm going to be honest. The only place I think about is New York. I can't help it. I know that sounds very uncultured, but kiss my butt, you guys. Like, that's all I can think about when I'm not in, like, right now I'm in um, Minnesota checking on my business. So, you know, all I can think about is New York. Like, right now in the background, I have on a video of people walking in New York. Like, it's, I can't even think past it. I just want to get, get back. Uh, I understand New York is one of the most <clears throat> unique cities in the world. Like, there's yeah. only one New York. 
Mm-hmm. Like, or no, I understand. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. yeah, um, my next question for you is: Would you rather go into space or deep sea diving? Um, what would you like to see in space? A Martian. If you could tell the Martian three things, what would you say? I would say, don't come to Earth. <laughs> the people are terrible. Like, don't visit. Please, you know, stay here. And I apologize for intruding, but I wanted to get away from these people on Earth. If you... Um, <laughs> I understand. Um, if you could ask a Martian three questions, what would you ask them? Um, can they make babies? Do they eat? What else? Do they go to school? <laughs> <clears throat> yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. That's awesome. Um. My next question for you is, what are your five favorite animals? <laughs> next question. Mm. Next question. My I like ne- dinosaurs. I'm obsessed with dinosaurs. That's cool. That's about it. I like dinosaurs as well. They're awesome. Really? Yeah. Dinosaurs are That's awesome. That's why I love, like, yeah, like science museums and stuff. Like, I love dinosaurs so much. But, like, animal animals, like, I can't stand cats. I like dogs, but I don't have the patience to give them that much love every second. You know what I mean? I kind of like fish, but I would need the fish. I heard there's some fish that eat their own excretion, so I wouldn't really have to do much for them. Um, and I... I think bears are cute, but yeah. So dinosaurs. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <clears throat> My next question for you is, what are your five favorite drinks? Any? Any. Yes, like, ma'am. You can say either one. Uh, I love tequila. That's like my number one. I, everybody knows I love tequila. Um... I've been drinking a lot of protein shakes lately because I've been, like, exercising and lose weight. So I'm going to throw that in there just to keep myself, you know what I mean, on the health track. Uh, I don't drink much soda, but when I do, my favorite is root beer ever since I was a little girl. Um, I love fresh pressed juice. So, you know, with the beet, the ginger, um, kale, spinach, all those things. And the fifth one, I would say, is just any red wine. <clears throat> yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. That's awesome. You said anybody knows me know I like tequila. I know that's it's right. It's my number one baby. It's it's my, yeah, I love it. It loves me, too. That's awesome. <laughs> that's awesome. <clears throat> my next question for you is, what are your plans for the next five years? And what are your plans for the next 10 years? Uh, the next five years, I want to just, you know, continue to build um, my skincare studio. I would actually probably like to be rid of it within five years and just totally sell the skincare. At least that's what I see. Um and hopefully at least be in a Lifetime movie within the next five years, that would be great. You know, I don't need to be in Hollywood, but I really want to see this pretty face and all this talent doing its thing in five years. Like, the world deserves to see me. I am a gift to the world. Like, everyone deserves to just... I don't give a damn if I'm an extra. They're going to be like, look at that pretty girl in the back. Oh, my God. Like, within five years, I want to be seen somewhere besides a theater or indie film where I would have to send you a video. And in 10 years, um, just settled, calm life in New York and Manhattan, uh, no children still, and just loving on my husband making love every day and having my skincare do the money for me 
I want to cook, make love, and have my passive income just do its thing. I don't want to be stressed out in 10 years. I try to keep my composure on here. <clears throat> Sometimes I get thrown off guard. Oh. That was one of them times. Really? <laughs> <laughs> That's your plans in the next 10 years. Yeah, I mean, sooner would be great, but I'm saying five, 10 years, you know, that stuff better be what's up. Okay, so I'm glad I got to meet you now before you two occupied. For sure. Because <laughs> I will be oh. extremely occupied. Oh, yeah. Just living and being happy. I just want to cook and love on the husband and let that be life. Yes, ma'am. I heard you the first three, four times. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> no, I get the, it. Your, I little, get it. your little hair now. Your hair's like... Man. Okay. <clears throat> so, Miss Coco. <laughs> yes. Um. Okay. <clears throat> Miss Coco, my next question for you is. What is your message to the future generation of women? I would say just from what I'm seeing, I feel like the more, I guess, power that women are getting, the looser they're getting with other things. And like, if I had a daughter, I would want her to know you can be empowered with your clothes on. You can be empowered without being a stereotype. You know, women of color are known for shaking it and being vulgar. And it's turning into, no, this is us being empowered and we doing the damn thing and all of that. I want the the future girls to know loving yourself doesn't mean doing what it takes to get likes. Being empowered doesn't mean being sleazy. No matter how you try and spin it and sugarcoat it, um, make sure what you're doing, you're doing for yourself. I don't know. It's a sensitive topic for me. I get really angry when I see... Um, I don't know. Just I want them to feel loved and valued and treasured. And you can be empowered <clears throat> by keeping your your privates to yourself too. I don't know how to yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. My next question for you is what would you like to tell your future self twenty years from now? Hmm. I would want to tell myself in 20 years, you are a good person and you did your best in spite of your childhood, in spite of not having a supportive family, in spite of, you know, the obstacles against your gender, your race and all of that. You have given your all and be damn proud of yourself because you did it by yourself, for yourself, and you kept your integrity the entire way. <clears throat> yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. What would you like to tell your future husband 20 years from now? I would like to tell him, honestly, thank you for sticking by me. Thank you for believing in me. Thank you for not giving up on me. 
and you are so beautiful to me. Yes, ma'am. All right. So, Miss Coco, my next question for you is, are, are there any shout outs that you would like to make? Only to myself. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Um, my next question for you is, can you sing? I'll say no. It's okay. A lot of people lie to me. I'm used to it now. I'm not lying. I just, okay, I grew up, I have one sibling and they were the singer and I was the actress. And so they went on, you know, sing R&B and opera and all of that stuff. So I sing like mild R&B and I do sing opera, but I like to do it alone. I think because of growing up the way that we did, I don't know how your parents are, but sometimes parents are like, yes, this is the, the singer and that's the actor, okay. And you kind of grow into these roles and as an adult, I've evolved out of that. And I, I really still need to work on that confidence with my voice. I don't have a really soulful voice. So, but it's yes, a nice ma'am. voice. You know what I mean? It's a, it's a nice voice, but I just need to work on being okay with my pitch. Oh, I understand. I understand. Um, Absolutely. My next question for you is, what would you like people to know about you before they go to your social medias? Um, I would say the way that I am in this interview is the way that I am in real life. I really enjoy myself, so I don't put on a front. And you'll see that once you hit my social media. Like, I really how I appear to be. So if you like this, then you'll enjoy following me. (laughs) Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. My next question for you is, how do you feel women are represented in the world? Um, Well, it's a little better than it was a few decades ago. Uh, still seen as weak because I feel like even when you get a female superhero, she still has her panties on. So to me, that's not being strong. So I would say women are still portrayed as um, objects with no brain, but it's just now women get paid more for it so they're okay with it. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Um, my last question for you, Miss Coco, is what <laughs> would you do if you were the president? Um, I would be like Fidel Castro, and it's just kind of like, I really don't have time for too many opinions. Well, I just see how everybody's just arguing and nobody listens. And I feel like I have a good grasp on how to make things better. And it would just kind of be like that. Kind of like who's rolling with me. (laughs) 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 I wouldn't beat people or anything, but I just don't have time for like too much of the the friction and you know what I mean? Like nothing gets solved. Nobody listens. Like neither side listens. And yeah, but I would definitely, yeah, I I would never want to be president. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I understand. (laughs) Um, That's awesome. Well, Miss Coco. (laughs) I would like to tell you, thank you so much for coming on my show. Is there anything that I didn't ask you, or is there anything that we didn't talk about that you would like to say? No, you covered literally things that I had no idea you want to ask, like 
in space and all that stuff. This was really fun. It was a lot of fun. And thank you for having me. You're so kind and sweet and respectful and ask great questions. Thank you. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You are welcome here anytime, Miss Coco. Thank oh. you again. Ay, Dios mío. Thank you. Yes, ma'am.